Hi there. Someone asked me a while ago if I could do a little introduction to my creepypasta characters and I have some notes and stuff here about their origins and shit. Some of these guys are British, some of them are American. Here we go. My creepypasta original characters are called The Unknown. Who are they? They're just a little cluster of crazy, crazy people made by me. Uh, who's in the group? The Unknown is led by Archer, who's also known as the Dark Lady. Her son is named Andrew, who's also known as Blood or Bloodfuck or whatever. He's also a member of the group, but he's kind of in and out every now and again. It's completely it. Right. There are seven other people. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and you've got Agony, Amber, Fate, Trickster, The Wolf, Whisper, and TikTok Rider. Backgrounds on these characters. Mm. Most of them I haven't written yet, which is bad. I don't have time! Most of them are on Quote V, which I'll put a link down in the description for. How are they related to Creepypasta? There are lots of parallels and a couple of the characters have interacted with Creepypasta characters, mainly my favourites Tiki Toby and stuff like that. There are two little separate groups. One of them are the tech proxies and they're led by Mississippi. And then you've got the other group. This group is kind of based in the future and they're led by an older version of Whisper. And then you've got a couple of other little rogue characters which don't really have a place. Quick rundown of origins. First up we have Archer, otherwise known as the Dark Lady. She's a 10th century princess who was chased out by her people. Mr. Creepypasta took her in and trained her to be a killer and to get revenge. Amber. She's a 14th century Xanthian princess. She murdered 12 of her suitors before she was executed by her own people. Archer resurrected her and began training her. I have a thing for making princesses really badass. I don't know why. I guess because I always wanted to be a badass princess. Moving on. Agony. She was a Tiki Toby fanatic to begin with. She killed for Slenderman's attention and then killed for fun. She was eventually accepted into Slenderman's proxy, but then she left Slen Slenderman's proxy to join Archer's group because she thought it seemed more fitting. Blood. He left his mother to fend for himself in a dying city. He's joined many gangs and he eventually rejoined his mother's group after years of, of being isolated on his own. Fate is the quietest and the most passive character I have on this list. Been burdened with the ability to see people's fates, hence her code name. She foresaw the deaths of her brother and her closest friend. She saw these deaths play out in front of her and was traumatised. She has remained quiet for years. TikTok writer. She's a girl. I know in some drawings she looks like a boy. She is not. She is a girl named Tilly. TikTok Rider learnt self-defence from her brother until he died and kind of half-possessed her. She killed her father in a rage and then ran off. <laughs> Trickster saw his parents gunned down and sought revenge. He, ki he killed some bullies at school after they provoked him and then went to find his parents' killer. He eventually figures out that he's never going to find this person and he kind of turns to Archer like, can you help me? <laughs> I need to get all this frustration and anger out. Is there any way you can help me? And the wolf. This one's quite tragic as well. The wolf was abandoned by his former partner, Red Hood. He was presumed dead for years on end. Archer, meanwhile, was training him to be better, stronger, and faster. Whisper. This one is definitely the one I've put the most detail in. <laughs> Whisper was quite an unstable character to begin with. Sociopathic and psychotic tendencies were shown early on and were suppressed for years until bullies at, at a new school kickstarted it again. She was noticed by Archer and was trained with other members of the Unknown. Her story's a bit like a roller coaster. Starts off a little bit. Gets quite steady for a little bit, like the ascend to the shitstorm. <laughs> yeah, feel feel fear why can't I speak English? Felix. Felix he was one of Whisper's only friends. He became very close to her before suddenly snapping and killing Archer. Okay, now we're on to the tech proxies. Mississippi, a hacker from the 1970s who was thought to be working with the Russians. He was, he was trained by Mr. Creepypasta after he was exiled from his home country. Mischief, a petty thief from the 2020s who got, who got our hands on a hoverboard and began participating in more risque crimes. So glad I used the word risque. Ginger Devil, Ginger Devil is a clone of a grade A 2020 student who went, a who went AWOL after discovering her origins. She teamed up with Mischief to stop more cloning from occurring. Trouble. 
Trouble was a troubled girl. This is literally what I've written. Trouble was a troubled girl at school and eventually gave up with controlling her bipolar opposite. She was brought into Mississippi's lair by mischief. I've used the word trouble too many times, it's ridiculous. And now we're onto the, miscel the miscellaneous lot. Anarchy. She was a genetics experiment conjured up in the 70s by the Russians. She escaped and was found by Archer, who trained her to, to control her genetic abilities. Anarchy can pretty much shapeshift. Change her hair She's kind of like, um, Tonks in Harry Potter. She can change her hair colour, she can change what she looks like, but she kind of... She forgot what her original hair colour and eye colour was, so she's a little bit higgledy piggledy with a purple eye, a red eye, and pink hair. <laughs> okay, faceless. He started out as a normal photography student, but was discovered by Archer. Anarchy was sent to spy on him and to give him the power to shape to shift forms. Anarchy and Faceless are kind of like a little team. They're not a couple. It's hinted at by one of um, Faceless's friends. Okay, moving on. Oh, I've started writing this one. This one's hilarious. <laughs> Janet was a normal teen who enjoyed reading smutty, creepy pasta fan fictions. She's based on one of my friends. <laughs> For a day, she had to summon a slender being. A fender man was summoned and took and took her to train her as his whore like counterpart. I did have other things. Um, one of the things I crossed out was slutty apprentice. <laughs> She's the girl version of sexual offender man, pretty much. Ooh, and now we're onto the second generation. For these next three, none of this is canon. I know there's been fan fiction, not fan art of the love of like children of creepypasta characters and couples and stuff. These next three characters are kind of based on those ideas, but they're not canon. They're just a part of my weird little universe where everything, like the tiki workship, I know some people don't ship it, but I ship it because it just seems like the one, the one ship that would actually work. Yeah. Moving on. Blue Lightning. Blue Lightning. She's the daughter of Tiki Toby and Clockwork. She unfortunately had to flee with a small group to escape Fearless Felix's clutches. This all happens in like the late 2010s, early 2020s. Miss Murder, the bastard child of Jeffrey Woods and Jane Everlasting. That first bit is actually a little bit canon because in the Jane vs. Jeff the Killer story, right at the end of the story, there's a little scene, I'm, I'm not going to describe it, but the Jane and Jeff kid becomes canon. There is no gender given, so it's kind of open for interpretation. I just think it's a girl, because girls are badass. <laughs> she was raised partly by her mother and partly by the unknown household. She fled with Blue Lightning, TikTok, and some others when Fearless, when Fearless Felix struck. <laughs> TikTok. This is, he's completely different to TikTok Rider. TikTok is actually slightly adorable. Think Ben Drowned plus innocent Tiki Toby. Yep, there you go. <laughs> He's the adoptive child of Toby and Natalie Rogers, so Tiki Toby and Clockwork, for those of you who didn't know their real names. Uh, he fled with his sister, Miss Murder, and a couple others when Fearless Felix attacked the mansion. And I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Those are basically my Creepypasta original characters. If you liked that, you can go check out the... The theme songs video that I did. Leave me a comment suggesting what I could do next or you could go check out my friends because they're pretty cool. Bye bye.